my RV mission to explore new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, and to go where no space is left behind. Let's talk about RV storage hacks. Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV. And when you live on the road, space is at a premium. So today, I'm going to show you my favorite small space storage hacks. The first hack is right behind me. I realized I had all this space behind my couch and a bunch of books stuck up in a cabinet that I couldn't even see. So this is what I came up with. I figured out that I had this ledge behind my couch that wasn't being used and I found these little storage containers that fit back there and hold a whole bunch of books so I can see everything that I want to read and they don't fall over while I'm traveling. The next hack is to get high. Not that kind of high. Most of us have a bunch of unused space in our cabinets, like I did for my canned goods. So I just took some regular cardboard and I made these separators. And I have different types of products in each slot, so I actually know when I'm running low on something. And then when I travel, they don't go anywhere. And I have this weird cabinet in my bathroom. I couldn't figure out what to put here. And then I realized I could use it for paper products. Oh yeah, I got a bunch back here, hoarding the toilet paper. For stuff like this, I do like to keep items in their packages because they create a natural barrier so things don't fall over while I'm traveling. The next hack is to keep things in perspective. If you wear glasses like me, you probably can't find them. I was always losing mine until I came up with this hack. I realized I had all of these extra command hook cord keepers and I could just pop one up on the wall like this and then my glasses would hang right in there and I do this all over the house. The next hack is to get boxed in. Now you don't have to buy storage containers for this. You can use whatever you have around your house. You can use an old frozen dinner container or whatever you might have. For me, I have these old baskets. They weren't doing anybody any good inside of a drawer. So I hang them with command hooks right here on the bathroom wall. I have some wipes and some Q-tips and body wipes and lotion. And then over on my bathroom cabinet, I have these other skinny ones. You can see that they are attached to the wall with another command hook. So these don't move while I'm traveling. And now I don't have to dig around in a drawer for these things. So like toothpaste, toothbrush, micellar water, the stuff that I use every day. And old boxes are great for just organizing drawers like keys and glasses. And like Kenny Rogers said, you got to know how to fold them right? I've done a video on this before, but if you can learn to fold things in a little tiny satchel like this, you can fit a lot more stuff in your drawers. And if they're not stacked on top of each other, you can see what's there. Over here, I have t-shirts. And I can see what every single one is, and I can pull one out without wrecking everything else. If you're still short on space, just hang in there. For me, I wear hoodies a lot, but they take up way too much room inside of a drawer or a closet. So for me, I hang them all behind the bedroom door, just on some removable command strips. Then when the bedroom door is open, you don't really see them. The last hack is just channel your inner MacGyver. Now I'm not talking about making a bomb out of a piece of chewing gum and some string here. I'm saying figure out what needs to get done around your house and think about what you have just laying around that can do it behind me is a roll of toilet paper. Now my RV did not come with a toilet paper holder attached to the wall, but even if there was one, I wouldn't have kept toilet paper on it because my cat would just eat it. So I needed a way to store my toilet paper that was high off the ground. This basket had these weird hooks that I never used for anything. If I tried to put a towel on it, they just fell off. But then I thought, what if I took a little baby bungee and hung it right here if you don't have something like this, you can just put two command hooks up on the wall and put a string through it. Voila! Toilet paper holder. I tell you, life is so much easier in a small space once you get the storage figured out. I hope you guys can use one or two of these. If you have a favorite hack for small space storage, put it down below. I would love to read about it. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy out there and doing something that you love. Everybody, have happy travels and be free. <laughs>